How is it that some small to medium and even large organizations are quite successful? How is it that their board, their directors and senior management alike seem to be able to make quick, prompt and decisive decisions? How is it that they seem to be in control of their businesses? Hi, I'm Tony Daniel of iTech Finance and in this video I'm going to explain to you that the fundamental requirement of a robust finance system can help you achieve those very things. Now regrettably, in my 20 plus years experience as a chartered accountant and finance professional, all too often I've seen too many business owners treat their support functions, including their finance systems, as something they can get around to only when they have the time. This is fundamentally flawed. You see, one of the key things is your numbers are the foundations of your business. They are the language of business. And if you haven't got any insight or control over your numbers, trust me, your business will lose control. And if it loses control, inevitably it will end up as one of the majority of businesses that unfortunately end up failing. Now, whether you're a new startup, an established business or a growth business, your finance function is absolutely crucial and that is underpinned by the systems, by the processes, in order to take numbers and data and translate them into viable information where you as a business owner, the board, the directors or whoever's running the company can actually make informed and powerful decisions, just like those who are very, very successful. Now, before I get into showing you what a basic finance ecosystem should really look like, I want to show you here on screen what I call my finance function hierarchy. Now, the finance function hierarchy is quite important because the way you've got to look at your finance function or provider or system is from the bottom upwards. Once again, quite often I deal with a lot of people that dive right into the sexy stuff, that want to talk about tax planning, that want to talk about international tax planning, advanced group structures and those kind of things. And whilst all well and good, you know, that kind of stuff is quite important, it's only really important once your business gets to a certain stage. It's only going to become viable once actually you get to a certain size. Certainly if you're at the new startup or the early stages, it's about building those foundations, the fundamental foundations and working your way up. So let's look on the screen here at an app stack, a basic finance ecosystem, certainly where you can start down at the operational level. Now, in the middle of this ecosystem is an accounting software, preferably cloud-based. In fact, not preferably, definitely must be cloud-based. And from our point of view, the ones that we've used so successfully are one of three. That's Zero, QuickBooks, or ClearBooks. But if I'm going to be completely honest with you, our number one preference would certainly be Zero. And that sits right in the middle of your app ecosystem. Next up is having a business bank account connected to your company. So if you are running through a limited company, even if it's an LLP or any other kind of form of structure, you will need a business bank account. Now, classic examples in the market today are Tide and Starling. They're very progressive online based banks. However, in saying that, like the high street banks, HSBC, NatWest, Santander, they offer a very, very good online service. Now, the ability to be able to connect your banking service to the Zero QuickBooks or ClearBooks core is very, very essential. Now, when I mean connect, I mean the ability to download read-only bank transactions. If you don't have that, then don't choose the bank. Next is Receipt Bank. Now, this is an app that we use quite often. And as a business owner, there are gonna be invoices that you need to raise and send and invoices that you're gonna receive from suppliers called purchase invoices. Also, there are gonna be expense receipts that you incur as the director and as company expenses. Receipt Bank is brilliant. It does away with the need of paper. It actually collates all of this and puts it up electronically as so the bookkeepers can do the job a lot more easier and remotely. Next is a system to run payroll. Certainly if you're a director of a company, you're more than likely gonna be paying yourself a salary. If you have employees, then you're gonna need a payroll system. And Zero QuickBooks and ClearBooks is what we would recommend, depending on where your core is. I would mirror that because they offer excellent payroll services too. Thereafter, what you're gonna be needing is a payment system. Certainly if you're in the technology industry, you don't want to be receiving or sending checks. Now, I know that's a bit outdated, but believe me, I have seen businesses do that. And in today's market, there are three providers that we have used very extensively. One is GoCardless, which is a brilliant direct debit system, but also can take one-off payments. 
Stripe is another one, and TransferWise. Although there are others, PayPal being an example that you could choose. There are many, but the key here, what you've got to have is one of those that can integrate seamlessly into your ecosystem, firstly into the core, and then sort of sideways laterally to the other apps. Next up is a CRM system. Now, some of you may think, well, this is a bit of a luxury, but trust me, a CRM system is actually quite crucial as part of your finance ecosystem. And the reason being is because it's that mass communication. The thing is, with a lot of these apps we showed you, including Xero, they can't do mass communication. So a CRM system gives you that ability to mass communicate, to organize your contacts, and actually automate a lot of your communication online. Very, very important indeed. Next up is a KPI balance scorecard app. And the one we use is QuickScore. Now, again, it depends on where you are in your business journey. And certainly in the early days, some of you may think this is a bit more of a luxury than a necessity. However, what I do suggest is get into the habit of learning and creating KPIs and the balance scorecard early. Even if your numbers aren't big and you're just a growing business, it is essential to get into that mindset because these are the key metrics. These are your north stars, which is where you're heading. And if you haven't defined them, then it's easy to go off track. And last but not least is FutureLi. FutureLi is an excellent system. It's something that we've used quite a lot now and it really gives you that depth of reporting. So where I look in the hierarchy at an operational transactional level, you may just be able to get away with zero QuickBooks or ClearBooks dashboards in the early stages. But as your business goes on and you need to get into advanced reporting, FutureLite is definitely what you're gonna need. And that's certainly part of a system that we use and we could even implement for your business. And lastly, the important of this whole ecosystem is that it's interconnected, that it communicates with each other, that there is as little manual intervention between the apps as possible. And it's very, very straightforward to develop that. All you need to do is API things and some integrate seamlessly with others, which is why we've developed this ecosystem because it's almost like a sim seamless integration. The developers have already done the hard work. All you have to do is click a couple of buttons. However, in saying that, doing API links isn't particularly difficult. So make sure they all talk to each other and make sure your ecosystem is running as soundly and as efficiently as possible. So I really hope you found this video useful, insightful, and something that perhaps you can go on to use. Um, it's really, really important in any aspect of your business, whether it's the core or your support functions, that you develop the right systems and processes and you develop them as early as possible. And by doing that, what you can then do is amplify a well-leveraged system. Now, if this video has been useful to you, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the notification button to get alerts. And until the next video, I wish you well, take care.